Robots are roaming suburban streets in Johnson County, removing threats from the front yards of homes. Right now, we know of at least four reports of bottle bombs found in snowy yards in Greenwood. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyk on the threat and who investigators say tonight they're looking for. The bottles were tossed on people's front lawns. They could have gone off by themselves or if someone had picked them up thinking they were trash. The bomb, looking as harmless as a discarded water bottle, was there in the snow, next to the driveway. They're laying right about there. But something didn't seem right to Steve Hershberger's wife. I'm glad I didn't go pick it up. The Johnson County Sheriff's Department bomb squad wouldn't touch it either. They used a remote-controlled robot to set it off. No one was hurt. It's every time you turn around, you hear some, some lunatic that, you know, does stuff like that. Uh, you know, it just seems like it's getting more and more prevalent. As police were preparing to leave, they found three more identical bombs in two other yards. So the ones that we found looked like they were more or less just thrown in to, to see what, what would happen. Uh, it didn't look like anybody was targeted as far as doing damage to their property or to the, to the people. Well, we make it Making the bombs is so easy, kids do it, using plastic bottles and household cleaners. The explosion sprays skin-burning chemicals with a force great enough to destroy a metal mailbox. I think it's pretty frightening myself. Residents saw two young men, possibly teenagers, about midnight, standing on a street corner of the Center Grove neighborhood. One of them had a backpack. The lead detective is looking for them. So they might have uh, a couple leads of which way to look. Neighbors are looking out as well. There are just uh, nut jobs out there that you know, just kind of thrive on, on, on doing this kind of stuff. So in, t in today's world, I think you just can't be too careful. These homemade bombs can be terribly unpredictable, just as dangerous to the people who make them as they are to people who might find them on their front lawn or in a mailbox. Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.